Okay, so I am officially back with a brand new video here in our YouTube channel. I do apologize for the long wait, and here I am. I have kind of upgraded my system, so you get some better content in here. And we're going to start off straight away with a new game. So it's going to be kind of a racing game, but with like power-ups or whatever we're gonna build it as we go but it's going to be based on a car racing game because i like car racing games and because most of you like car racing games based on the comments down below so uh, just like the usual if you're new we're gonna click new here's your project name just leave it like whatever maybe you want to name it like donald trump here is your templates, you can choose any templates. I usually start with a very blank template with basically nothing in it, but the recommended way of doing this is you is using one of these render pipelines. So I usually go with the universal render pipelines, mostly because it doesn't completely kill your computer. However, you can go in high definition if you want to. So start with universal or high definition, or you can start without any of these. You can start with the base render pipeline, and that's completely up to you. You can use any of these, but I highly recommend not doing so because you can't really know what's going on. So click your render pipelines, create your name, hit create, wait a couple of hours, and then you have your game. Okay, so here we are in our scene. We have a racing game title in here, and here is our blank scene. So if you're new into Unity, here is your hierarchy. You place your objects in here. Each object has a inspector view. If you don't have a inspector view, you can just go into layouts, and you can choose any of these layouts. So you usually start with the default. Here's your default. Nothing new, nothing special. Okay, so as a start, I have already created a 3D model of a vehicle. Here it is. It's the Koenigsegg Jesko, and it looks nice and sharp. So here it is. It has these lines, which we're going to delete in a very short time. And you should be able to download this model down in the video description. However, you cannot use it in commercial use, as we know, because I don't own the car. Anyway, so to import the car, very simple, very straightforward. Just drag, drop it into your assets, and you should have a brand new folder named Yesco. So you can name it whatever you want. You can name it like Hillary Clinton. And there it is. There's your Hillary Clinton. You can just drop your Yesco into Hillary Clinton. Everything is working fine. So uh, the tricky thing in here is that importing it from here into here will cause a lot of issues so one of the issues is first of all importing it so here's your import methods you have this location right here so by default this doesn't have any material as we can see in here we have no materials we have just textures so we want materials we want to adjust the materials so how do we do that we just go into location use external materials hit apply this should create all the materials for us, as we can see in here. So now we can just drag this Yesco, drop it, unpack it, and there we go. Now if we click, for example, the chassis, we should have all the materials. So now we can just adjust anything we want. Anyway, we're just going to go ahead and delete the light, because we already have a light. We're going to delete the camera, and we're going to be left with the Koenigsegg Yesco. So it has a little bit of unnecessary materials in here you can just go ahead and delete them and there it is there is our yesco it only has two wheels that will be shortly fixed and for now we're just gonna drag it into the top right here so what do we do with the hierarchy if you're new into our channel so um, everything that is placed in your scene or should i say in your game here it is that is your game for now it has nothing going on so if we click play nothing will happen they're just there's just going to be a car standing right there so uh anything that happens in your scene will be placed over in your hierarchy so every single object will be placed in here so uh for example if you have a light a light is a object as well as we can see it here we can just bump the light 
and everything will be blinding bright. Anyway, we got our hierarchy, we got our scenes, so um, we can't just go ahead and play with these values all the time. So that's why we have our scene. We can just move our stuff around, place it, we can hold shift and it will snap into grids if we have this enabled. For now, it's not working. Then we have our game. Our game is quite straightforward. So the one thing that we need to be looking at in here is our free aspect in here. So here is our free aspect. And by default, it is going to render at this exact resolution, which is not ideal. So in here, we have some presets. We have Full HD. So I usually go with Full HD and then just make sure that VSync is not turned on because this does not allow you to accurately trace your game or your frame rate. Anyway, that's covered the game for now. It has a lot of options, but we're going to talk about those in the future episodes. Then we have our inspector. So each and every single object, we can just, we can even create a new object in here that has nothing in it. We'll have a component in here. So these are the components. We can just add a new component like a box collider. And here is where we can see the box collider. If you don't want to see the box collider, and take gizmos and that will remove the box collider so this will collide with anything that we give it anyway we're going to remove that and there it is we can move that around obviously very nice very cool then we have our project here's your project nothing new nothing fancy you have your assets here's your uh here is where you place your assets so as i've explained you, you drag your asset drop it in here and you have a new asset. Usually we're going to use packages. These are the unity free packages or registry packages. Next we have something that I want to show in here. So so usually when you start off you have no shadows. So now everything looks like a cartoon. We have no shades. We have no way of showing that this car is actually in here. So usually the problem is in this rendering. So if you click on window, rendering, lightning, here's your lightning window. Here is where you bake your lightning. I highly suggest not doing that and just unticking the auto generate. But first we need a lightning settings in here. So you're gonna start up with no lightning settings, you're gonna create a new one and here is your lightning setting. So, uh, just untick global illumination because that takes forever to build. Untick auto generate and just click generate lightning. Now everything should be looking a little bit better. Next, to add some shadows in your scene, you can go into shadow type, click on soft shadows. If you want higher resolution of your shadows, you can go into edit, project settings, navigate into quality and here is where you play around with your quality so for now i've set it to highest everything looks nice smooth and at the highest settings so that is all the basics for now next video we are going to be talking about the scripts so here's how you create here's how you create a simple script new behavior this should open up a notepad if you have a notepad or it should open up visual studio in this case i have visual studio so here is a basic script with mono behavior you can have no mono behaviors if you choose not to have so but if you don't want to use mono behavior this script cannot be used to control any game object in your scene so that's why we have mono behavior anyway we're going to talk about all of those in future episodes. And for now, that is all I have prepared. So thank you for watching. We're going to be keeping up and building this racing game. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episodes.